Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. So RWOK had a major breakout going to extended hours in the Intimals room. Again, they got FDA News awarded designation for their exosuit, which could give us a continuation here. I'm going to go over exactly which levels are we trying to hold above, what exact indicators will give us confirmation on a major breakout like we did see previously here on RWOK. And all I ask in return for all of this is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's into this one. So I'm going to go over RWOK here with you guys here on the 30 minute chart. I'm going to go over exactly how this momentum does look overall. Again, we did have our previous major breakout that we did mention in the Inspo's room. But before we get started, I want to mention that we do alert penny stock and break alerts at the day. We mentioned RWOK just now going to extended hours on that news at $1.40, jumping all up to $2.12 now going to extended hours. Looking to see if we can continue here. We also mentioned EVAX on a volume spike yesterday at $15, having a major squeeze all up to $50 going to extended hours, over 200% on that breakout. And going to today, a major breakout out that we had today and also yesterday but today we had FATBB halted at $14 jumping all to $24 on the day over 50% on that breakout so if you do want to see more breakout alerts at the day as the market has been pretty choppy go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again so as you guys can see here on the 30 minute chart we had this major breakout previously looking to see if we can continue on past those highs now as you guys can see we are consolidating since then I have been looking at this as a possible entry as we are reaching specific lows that we did have from a previous major breakout now I was looking for another bounce as we did have a small bounce here looking for a major bounce but as you guys can see we did have news going to today which gave us that major breakout going to extended hours now as you guys can see we did cool down going to extended hours exactly at about 212 213 because as you guys can see we did have our previous major sell-off point and our previous bounce exactly at this point as you guys can see exactly at 210 we had our previous continuation sell-off and we also did have our bounce and as you guys can see this also was a confirmation continuation breakout here previously here on RWOK and again looking to see if we can gap up here to $2.37 and the reason why I mentioned $2.37 is you guys can see here we do have the VPBR here which is the most amount of volume that was traded within the stock's time period at exactly these points as you guys can see we have two peaks here on the VPBR exactly at $2.10 and $2.37 looking to see if we can gap up from $2.10 to $2.37 and what I would be looking for going to tomorrow is making sure we can hold $2.10 going to pre-market and if we can hold over $2.10 going to pre-market and into open then I would be looking for a volume spike at that point in time for that continuation I'm going to show you guys exactly what I would be looking for to get that confirmation but however to get that confirmation is only to go up about 10% here I want this one to continue to break out here and break continue highs so again making sure we get confirmation over 237 is really what I want to be looking for now to get that confirmation over 237 here I'm going to jump back here to when we did respect this level here at 237 back here in January as you guys can see we did continue on down and we did respect this level we did continue on past it and we did get confirmation here and as you guys can see we had a major buy pressure point exactly at that point on that major spike looking to see if we can continue on past that buy pressure point that we did previously respect this level with if we can continue on past that we can have a major breakout here with rwok now we do have the email lines pointing up here on the macd showing us that we could continue but making sure we do get confirmation above that previous buy pressure point that we did have when we did respect that 2 37 cent level is what i would be looking for here on rwok so again, making sure we do justify every one of our breakouts is exactly what to make sure you do focus on on this channel every single day. And again, with that said, if you guys do want to see all of our breakout alerts of the day, go to instabulls.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert of the day again. And everybody that has been coming over and supporting the channel, everybody that has been coming over from the Instabulls room, I appreciate every one of you guys as always. Much love to every one of you guys. And if you guys do like this video, it does help others refine it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.